Hello guys, it's me, Cold Wise, and today we have some news about what's going to happen with Vampire Survivors in the next period. I don't know actually, but uh, let's go through all the news. So this is uh, from Steam, you can actually read it yourself if you want, if you bought the game. Um, it's just a development roadmap overview in which we get to find what will happen next so we just don't have to like wait and see um, what they will add next or how many things they will add. So we have 15 characters out of 24 characters at the moment, so we'll have 9 new characters. We have 5 out of 10 stages, so we'll have 2 more uh, normal stages and two more challenges with one more bonus map. This is actually insane. Um, I didn't think that they will add uh, that many maps. I mean, I wanted it, I didn't expect it, to be honest. We have 32 out of 48 weapons, so we'll have 16 more weapons. This is... I don't know if um, they talk about uh, weapons, so like 16 weapons would mean uh, only 8 weapons with 8 evolutions I mean I'm not sure about that but we'll still have 16 more weapons and I don't know um, I mean I will have to wait and see I guess but sometimes whenever they would add like a new weapon or w like when they added um, a new character that had the same passive as Mortasio, like that bear or whatever it was, uh, they call it a 0.5 character, but I guess we'll have to wait, so I just assume we'll get 16 more weapons. Two more power-ups, so we'll have two more um, things that we can upgrade with gold. I wonder if um, they would be like the, the skip or the banish, and I think they actually... Okay, so I guess that this um, this includes I mean this does not include what's on the beta right now so we'll actually have only one more power up because one power up we know it's banish that's for sure uh, we've seen it uh, 16 more weapons so we get actually 13 more weapons because we know of the existence of the two new guns with their evolution we'll have actually eight more characters because we know of the existence of the new character on the beta do we know anything else is there like a challenge or a bonus map i can't remember what was in the patch to be honest um relics uh i don't know if we got any relic in this new patch on beta but i, I don't think we did but still we have we'll have four more relics i don't know what, what we do with these ones uh, and Arcanas. Uh, I don't have any idea what these are. Uh, that's why uh, they used like the question marks. But they're coming in April, so like next month, something like that, or until the the next month, or until the last day of the next month. Um, and now they talk a bit about uh, this post. So when Vampire Survivor first released on Steam in early access, it was est it was estimated to be at 60% content completion. The game had seven player seven playable characters, 22 weapons, 12 power ups, one stage, and 23 achievements. So this is when they um, first put the game, as they said. I didn't actually play that game back then. Uh, I can't remember where I when I started. I I, I think it was like a month ago or not two, maybe two months ago. I can't remember exactly, to be honest. Um, but now we have uh, on the live 15 characters, 32 weapons and evolutions and so on. They say that the game is about 70% content completion for the new roadmap to 1.0. And they call it 1.0 like when they will be out of early access. But I guess we'll still get patches after that. But it doesn't even include the content that two new major mechanics will bring to the game. The first one, Arcanas, will arrive in April and will unlock a whole new level of viable builds and power creep. Hmm, interesting. And instead of a story mode mentioned in the early access notes, we'll be implementing a new major gameplay mechanic, but which one is yet to be decided, with some kind of endless mode being the main canon. So, like, the endless mode is perfect. 
if they also make like on the endless mode whenever you um, pass uh, like a threshold like a cup like let's say you pass the 10 minute mark you'll get access to one more uh, weapon slot and so on so at the end at the end sort of say of the endless mode you'll actually have all the weapons that that's interesting this doesn't necessarily mean that the story mode is gone forever but the deep lore of vampire survivors requires a solid grasp of theoretical physics to be fully appreciated so maybe environmental storytelling and subtle hints are the way to go please don't take anything from this last paragraph seriously so we don't have okay <laughs> i was <laughs> i was even wondering what deep lore of vampire survivors but i yeah okay i get it now uh, also new engine performance issues and promise feature pushback performance issues we had a lot of those even now i guess that we when we get to like the later stages of the game um we have lag when there are so many mobs on the screen when there's so many effects i i never knew if it's like from my computer which is not like the most powerful computer in the world or if it's from the game from the engine itself but um apparently it's from the engine and i know that a, lo a lot of players had problems with this but i never really cared that much about it uh and then they continue to say that when they first launched vampire survivals all they wanted was to have a little game that would allow them to have fun making new game content in their spare time uh then it thanks um us and I guess the people that donated more than just uh, getting the game. I, I mean, I, I've seen some people saying that they would want to donate more. I think they donated. I'm not sure about that. But thanks to your incredible support and the once-in-a-lifetime surge of luck, the game turned out to be an incredible success instead. The game actually was not only luck. I mean, it was not only based on the luck. The success was based on the fact that people like this kind of games. I like them. I like... Uh, the um, the the gameplay mechanics they're easy they're simple they're not hard to understand but sometimes hard to master like if you want to make the the greatest build in the game you'll actually have to you you'll need a bit of knowledge about it you need to know what every item does the synergies between them where you must go I mean before now you have the map which is better but still before you had to know where to go how many steps to go to and so on like and there's also like th the game has secrets it has uh, x dash it has the red death um there are there are a lot of things that actually contributed to the game replayability there's another one of them there, there are people that have like 10 million gold um that are still playing the game because they're trying to break world records so the game is basically i'm not saying a recipe for success maybe it was luck uh, in that but still the game is a very successful one because it's well made and even if it had performance issues I think that this game is very well made and um, it's not only luck getting help from some friends to try to fix all the issues arriving from such a huge player base got very soon unsustainable so I've also started a parallel project to port uh, vampire survivors to an industry standard game engine with the help of trusted freelancers um, so, I wonder, I'm not saying that the game should stay at the same cost, I mean at this point they have to increase the price, but I wonder if they will do it, I'm not sure, but um, like the new engine and new people working on the project will surely bring some changes when it comes to also the player experience the user, the user experience because i think that it has potential it, it has a lot more potential it has a lot more room to grow of course and they also have a roadmap that um they followed so far which is good like they want to create something good out of out of this game but um it, for the people that don't have the game already um this might be like some sort of bad news because they will have to pay more but the game was very cheap anyway so it was like two dollars and i know that in some countries like mine um the currency is not that powerful so the game is actually a lot um a lot more expensive than you would have to pay like in uk and i'm not saying that we have to pay more dollars but uh, our currency um compared to the dollar is actually very poor but still, two dollars is not that much, or I, I mean, I, I 
it was two dollars or three dollars. I can't even remember how much it was when I got it. The port of the new engine is going smoothly and the game is already fully playable, lacking mostly in polish and content, but we also ran benchmarks that show a tenfold increase in performance and so in frame rate. That's that's so good, that's perfect. Because we've had performance issues, and I've, as I've stated before. Now with all those performance issues and the new engine, I guess they can do even more things. I wonder what the new engine can bring usually when um, maybe new graphics and so on. I mean, they could do that since they started working on a new engine, but I like, um, I mean, even if they stayed with this new engine, I don't think that people would stop playing or it would make people um, stop playing the game or stop buying the game. But uh, this, sh this goes to show that they care about the user experience. They care about the issues that we uh, talked about. And so they try to resolve them as fast as possible. The port going well is the reason why a few feature features promised back in January haven't been developed on the current version yet, like key remapping, increased responsiveness when switching screens, localized text that fits the available space, etc. So I don't actually know about those features promised back in January because I, um, I know for a fact that I didn't play back in January. Uh, I guess I'll have to look um, after the video, but uh, still, I'm not sure, like key remapping, um, increased responsive, I'm, I didn't really encounter this, but whatever. Um, still, um, since this already have the game fully playable, it's just a matter of time, like maybe weeks or m maybe a month before we get the game on the new engine. It's just more time effective to implement those things directly in the new engine, of course. Um, and the same goes for worrying about game performance and hardware compatibility. Yeah, I I, mean, I understand that. It's um, completely understandable. It's reasonable to not work on an engine that they will abandon soon. It's, it will be abandoned where... Um, while there could be a lot of stuff getting drawn on screen in uh, Vampire Survivors, the real bottleneck are the physics calculations that are stuck on using only a single CPU core, which is why not even having powerful modern hardware guarantees a smooth gameplay. Okay, so now, um, thinking at what I've said before about my computer not being the greatest, but it's still decent, um, having lag, so now I get it, so it was only running on a single CPU core. Um, I actually thought it's from the the GPU before, but it's a, 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 apparently it's like a CPU bottleneck, which is interesting. Uh, the list of hardware includes a Steam Deck, unfortunately, with the game's performers dipping to an embarrassing slideshow near the end of a run, while other graphic intensive games run at a battery 60 FPS. The new engine will ensure Vampire Survivors uh, runs like Battle 2. I actually uh, want to try the Steam Deck. I think it's a very... Um, not, not, not It's not innovative because we also have the Nintendo Switch. Um, but still, like I actually waited Steam Deck. But it's very expensive, especially in my country. So uh, I'll have to wait um, for that a little bit. I actually want to try Vampire Survivor on Steam Deck because I also wanted to try Vampire Survivors on, mo on my mobile, but I actually didn't get to. Um, I'm not sure if there's a mobile version out there, I actually didn't find any. We're aiming to release the version on, on the new engine in the summer. The executable will be completely different, but the save data will be moved over, of course. Oh, so in the summer, so we'll actually have to wait more. I mean, I've said a couple of weeks or maybe a month, but we'll actually have to wait more. Mobile versions and other games. Nice. Vampire, Surv Vampire Survivors originally released on Android in just a couple of test markets and it ran terribly. It was so bad, in fact, that I just decided to stop developing it and move it to PC instead. So that's why I actually didn't find it on mobile. Uh, with a new engine, the game is perfectly playable, even on mobile, so hopefully we should see a proper version hitting the store soon. Finally, that's that's so good. I wonder if they will also, if they will also keep the save data. But if they don't, I mean, I'm sure I will play it anyways. In the meantime, if you want to play on the go, there is a Steam Deck op option, of course, but I also recommend once again to play Magic Survival... Ma <laughs> this is the game that I'm talking about. So I've said before um, about this game, Magic Survival, which is basically the same. And um, in a video I said that I don't know which one was first. I think that Magic Survival. And then someone commented and said that Magic Survival was first. 
and it's actually a good game uh, it's uh, harder I guess it's not that limited when it comes to weapons I mean you can have every passive item and every weapon in the game but it's not that complex there's no such thing as evolution uh, the mobs are just uh, tribbles of something you're just fighting but it has a story uh, which is not that important but it has a story so you you get like uh, different bits of the main um, story whenever you finish a level after a certain amount of minutes uh, they also have a currency with which you can upgrade like some sort of power-ups they're not as good as uh, in vampire survivors but um, like it's it's decent I've played it a lot on my mobile and I still actually didn't, didn't finish upgrading my power up so it's a little bit harder um, okay so which is the game that inspired your original prototype of Vampire Survivors I doubt I ha I'd have started developing Vampire Survivor if I hadn't played something as good as Magic Survival as other mobile games in the same genre tend to be usual ads and microtransactions messing with a bit of gameplay attached uh, keep in mind that Magic Survival also have um, ads and microtransactions so I'm playing without microtra microtransactions but there are a couple of things that you can buy uh, which will increase maybe sometimes a lot like tenfold the amount of like currency you make there and you also have ads like after every level or after every two levels uh, speaking of other games there's another one I like to mention that is Serenade of Chaos I actually don't like I, I don't know this one an actual roguelike for which the original asset pack was used by Vampire Survivors Commission for. Here are some words from the developer Slashy. Castlevania RL is a completely traditional turn based roguelike. Okay. Uh, 2005. I mean, I guess this is not about uh, <laughs> Vampire Survivors. I thought uh, it would be something about Vampire Survivors. I don't see anything regarding Vampire Survivors. I mean, it's interesting. I, I, you can pause the video and read if you want. I uh, read most of it without uh, reading out loud. Now let's move. Uh, when developing Vampire Survivors, I wanted to focus ex exclusively on gameplay and having fun, which is why I let the available sprites or just about the first thing that comes to mind to influence any aspect of the game. With playing games being my main hobby, that first thing that comes to mind very often turned into a reference to some other game I love, either consciously or not. Yeah, so that's maybe why like that's the reason why uh, we we saw this game i mean of course it's with vampires so it's most likely um not a reference but surely inspired by castlevania uh, the first character has a name that um could be a reference or that could be inspired by castlevania names and it also had a whip uh, like the way they were dressed it was surely castlevania uh, inspired also a couple of maps and some mobs here and there I mean I, I could see some references some inspirations but that's not a bad thing uh, for example I realized recently that the no no nonsense approach of mesh a button to start playing immunity of the main main came from playing one step from me than a few months um, oh I didn't actually know that <laughs> there's a cheat code that gives you exactly 2800 gold if i knew that when i started <laughs> it would have been not way easier but easier to upgrade something um they say that the list of influences goes on and on but i'm pretty sure it's safe to say that without magic survival and serenity of chaos there wouldn't be a vampire survivors today so please check them out yeah check magic survivals out it's actually very a very good one and also we have a quick message from slothy uh their community manager um, s they uh, launched a public issue tracker on Trello so you can see the progress of most common bugs which is like uh, like a database uh, in which you can I guess report bugs and see if a bug was solved I actually work um, in the industry I'm a tester on a big corporation which I will not name because of legal reasons um, but it's actually a nice uh, things to say it it when you whenever you have a bug 
especially uh, an important one, or sometimes not even important one that gets solved, you actually feel better about the fact that you um, gave that bug. When I'm, when it comes to like mm. the work environment and where I work, it's not like satisfying because I'm there to. It's not a game that I like to work on, but <laughs> I still have to work on it. So, uh, but coming back to the post. Uh, these issues have been brought to us by the brilliant members of our Discord server, so join the community to chat with our survivors and let us know your thoughts to, improve, to help improve the game. Yes, also on the Discord you could see the beta devlog in which they talk about the different um, things that they tweak or uh, some new characters, new um, patches before they actually get on Steam, like on the news. That's how I sometimes uh, saw that a new patch was updated on the public beta. Uh, and they also say that they love hanging, uh, hanging out with us uh, on Twitter and other socials. Come find us for a program. Okay. But again, a good post. I mean, look at how many things we're about to get. Look at, um, like, you can clearly see that they care about their players. And um, after they release the game, I'm pretty sure, I mean, I'm not, I'm not pretty sure, I'm 100% sure it's a guarantee that we'll have more updates and more patches. Uh, let's see how the new engine works out. Let's see what we'll get. Um, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you enjoyed this uh, post as much as I did. Go check Magic Survival, it's a very good game. I'm still playing it, I have it on my phone at the moment. I said like for a couple of weeks already that I will make a video um, showing some gameplay and so on, but I never got to do it because I don't really like um, recording on my phone. I think it's very clunky and so on. But still, I hope you enjoyed this episode, I hope you enjoyed the entire post, I hope that you're not bothered by the length of the video um well i hope i'll see you later and until next time stay wise